that's how we're gonna handle all our tweets from now on, is carrier pigeon literally tweets. I'm gonna tie it and it's gonna be like, at chef, and I'm gonna tie a little note to it and I'm gonna let it out our window. Mm -hmm. And then it'll probably be mauled by pigeons because our pigeons are terrible creatures. Project. I'm Michael Gibson, Marketing Manager here at 10th Magnitude. I'm joined by Ryan Lee, who is one of our Cloud Infrastructure Engineers, and uh, we welcome you back. Uh, this is the second real episode of the Manhattans Project, which is a bi-weekly video that sort of explores cloud computing, Microsoft technologies, project development, and pretty much anything else we want to talk about as we sit here and chat over uh, a couple of Manhattans. So, Ryan, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. Really glad you're here. That's the important part. So, so you, you've been working here how long? Four months. Okay. Uh, so four months, we are an Azure development firm, uh, and you, you didn't know what Azure was. I'd, uh, I'd had very vague associations with it, but, okay. but when I got hired here, I had no, no experience with it whatsoever. That's great. When I got hired here, I had no experience with it either. I still have no experience with it because that's not my job. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so so four months, haven't really touched Azure. What, what do you do? Chef. Chef. Almost exclusively so far. Exclusively chef. So so what exactly is chef then? Because I, I am only vaguely aware of what chef is. Mm -hmm. um, I think I've, I've only been here marginally longer than you mm -hmm. by, by like a couple days. We were on the same uh, same monthly staff meeting. Yeah, yeah, we, we were on that. We we're on the same like introduce yourself slide uh, to the rest of the team. Um, so, so what exactly is is the purpose of utilizing Chef here mm -hmm. at Tenth Magnitude? Okay. So, Chef and Azure do completely different things. So right. Chef Chef will do configuration management, mm -hmm. and it can also it it also has a lot of hooks to spin up new servers. And uh, the driver is what allows us to connect to any given cloud solution, you know, Google Compute or Compute Engine or AWS or Azure. So we basically write a script or, or a definition of how we want something to look. We want these three servers here and five to ten of these servers here. And then we want these programs or applications deployed to it in this exact precise manner. And then we want to configure the network in a certain way. And we can, use, we can do all of that without actually logging into the management portal. So we, before we even touch anything, we define how we want the environment to look and basically press a button and completely spins it up for us in a reproducible and uh, testable manner. Oh, so how does that scalability translate into adaptability? I mean, because I mean, that's that's the other keyword on the other side of scalability. I mean, it's is you want it to be scalable, and then I guess I guess stable mm -hmm. is in there somewhere, and then adaptable. So does does Chef do that, or is it just cookie cutter? Is it you know we have this implementation, we want it to do that on you know servers one through one million, and they're all going to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. So does it does it hamper or, or hinder delivery or implementation? Oh, not at all. Uh, in fact, uh, Chef can be the mechanism by which your environment scales. You can have each node aware of all of the other nodes. So if you add another one, it automatically reconfigures everything to be aware of it and change all the necessary configuration to accept it into whatever cluster it's a part of. So if you're expecting 10 times the traffic in a week, you can, uh, in instead of manually spinning up new servers and reconfiguring things, you can uh, bump up a few numbers, rerun Chef, provision whatever servers you need, and uh, they'll all be aware of each other. So what are the other utilities for Chef, period, aside from the configuration utilities? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it, it, will, it will ensure that whatever production you spin up with it remains in that state. So if somebody logs in 
by mistake, uh, changes a configuration file that causes everything to completely blow up. The next time Shep runs, it will go through, it'll compare the configuration that it expects the system to be in and the configuration that it actually is in and make whatever changes are necessary to bring it to a known state. Okay. So it, it, it's kind of a self-healing system in a way. Um, you have to tell it how to self-heal, but it will correct weirdness. Yeah. Will correct weirdness. Mm -hmm. that, that should be their new tagline. Exactly. Like a chef will correct weirdness. Mm -hmm. uh, another really exciting new offering from Chef is their Chef provisioning, which kind of takes over the creation of the server role. So currently, you have another tool, either Terraform or uh, whatever in-house scripts that you've built mm -hmm. to spin up new servers and bootstrap them with Chef. Okay. Uh, Chef, Chef delivery and provisioning will actually take care of that from, from the start. So it will connect to whatever cloud that you're deploying to. Okay. So from, from what I understand, Chef also has like a really, really big like DevOps component. Mm -hmm. Is is that something that it's it's how you utilize Chef that builds in that DevOps, or, or is that sort of an inherent need if you're going to utilize Chef? Like, do do you have to be DevOps to use Chef, or can you use Chef to create a DevOps environment? Both. Okay. So which one's more common? It's 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 probably more common for environments that are trying to become more DevOps to accept Chef or, or integrate Chef into their environment. So things that they may have been doing manually before, um, actually the original project that I worked on was exactly that. They've been provisioning and configuring and managing servers by hand. And their goal was to become more devops -y. Okay. Or to transform themselves into a DevOps shop. Okay. And their their decision was to go with Chef, and their decision for the implementation of that was was our team. Um, all right. So thank you very much for for staying after work and, and doing this video with me. I feel like I've learned a bit more about Chef. I'm certainly not an expert uh, with your two full days of training. Mm -hmm. I think you far outstripped me on that front. Um, but thank you. I really appreciate you taking the time. I feel like I've learned a lot, and hopefully people have learned a little bit more about it as well. And um, yeah, much appreciated, man. Absolutely. Cheers. Thanks for having me. Cheers.